So I needed a break from reading Infinite Jest, so I read Junkie by William Burroughs. And this review will probably be short, because it is a short book. Of course, I was a bit overhyped by this book, because it, it generally deals with the, what you might call it, it generally deals with you know, what it's like to be a junkie, what will you do to get your drug of choice, you know. And, of course, William Burroughs shows here that, you know, being a junkie isn't, you know, the it isn't living the high life, right? Uh, even when the characters in this book, they get their drug of choice, they still, I don't know, they don't... Or should I say, their reaction is presented, you know, you know, in a minor light, so to speak. So even the high is, you know, passed over in a sense. And of course, in this book, all the drug addicts, you know, they 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 live pretty, pretty, you know, meager, banal mediocre lives, they will do anything, and they will break any law, you know, to get enough money to buy their drug of choice, and basically, you know, they're petty criminals, right? So this is what astonished me about this book, is that even when the characters get their high, you know, it isn't written in a way, the author didn't write the high in this, you know, over-glorified manner. It, it, this doesn't happen in this book, which is astonishing to me, right? This, is, this isn't, this is you know, uh, glorifying, you know, drugs and addiction. Although, of course, the author in this book, of course, is, well, let's call it an advocate of drugs, right? And I have absolutely no problem uh, with drugs or any kind of addiction, right? If if uh, there were peddlers outside my window on a corner, uh, let me tell you, I'd be buying everything. Okay, I'd be buying everything. But unfortunately, in this place where I live, uh, we don't have uh, peddlers, right? So anyway, um, what else? Here's what really bothered me about this book uh in the beginning the narrator the narrator says you know um uh, his family is uh pretty well off fortunate uh his father owns a lumber company and uh our boy our narrator he receives like 150 dollars you know, from a trust fund, right, and, he, and this guy has $150 during the, you know, Great Recession of the 1930s, so this guy was living big, big, right, so not only does he have this trust fund, but he also stands to inherit, you know, the lumber company, and he's still, like, kind of you know, the voice of the narrator is kind of blasé, he, he is kind of bored, uh, you know. And, and this kind of bothers me, because let me tell you, after living a while, I would love nothing more than to have a trust fund and to inherit some, uh, some uh, you know, some wealth. I mean, that's, that's a dream come true, right? And here we have the narrator acting as if, oh boy, I inherited $150 during a Great Recession, whatever, uh, you know, I come from a pretty well-off family, it's whatever, you know, he, he kind of has fuckboy energy, right? Uh, there's nothing wrong with having financial security, right? Of course, money will not bring you happiness, but if I had the luck of inheriting some sort of fortune, let me tell you, I would be, uh, I would pre, I would, I wouldn't be so, uh, 
What's the word I'm looking for? I wouldn't be so condescending or, I don't know, blasé. I guess blasé is the word to use here. So this is what really uh, ticked me off about this book. In the beginning, the author tells us about his story, about his life. And, uh, you know, he inherited pretty much a good chunk of change. And, uh, you know, f from the voice, the voice of this book, uh, of course, uh, the narrator is not happy. You know, he is a drug addict like everybody else. And he becomes, you know, this petty crim criminal like everybody else, even though he comes, <coughs> even though he comes from a pretty well-off family, you know, and he starts off with a good chunk of change, and then he squanders everything, and he's blasé about everything, and that's fine, that's fine, right? But if I, again, I have to repeat myself, if I had, if I were blessed with, you know, a decent amount of money, you know, I would be, you know, I would be more a beat about it, more passionate about it, even when, like, listen, this is what this is yet again another thing that bothers me about this even i mean drugs and addiction this is what this book is about this is what the characters are all about right like like it says here on the back you know junk is not a kick it is a way of life right junk is not like alcohol or weed a means to increase enjoyment of life right so so you know even if they commit crimes to get their hands on the only thing that supposedly they care about which is junk even this is not i don't know pleasurable enjoyable passionate it's all well i gotta get these drugs you know it's all you know mechanical it's all soulless you know, even though it says here, you know, junk is a way of life. I mean, these these people are just, well, I got to get my fix and that's it. It's, that's it. There's no passion in it. Even the high, it's, you know, it's passed over. They don't have this excitement, this exhilaration. They're not enthusiastic about uh, getting their next dose. I, I don't know, right? So there's no... Uh, I don't know, there's no satisfaction whatsoever. It's it's about getting your next dose to, um, you know, to endure existence, and then you can't wait to get your next dose to tolerate existence yet again. So there is no joy whatsoever. Apparently it's a way of life, but I don't know, it's, it's, it's barely, you know, scratching the surface right even even drugs are you know they the way that it is written it, it seems like even drugs are a drag a chore or you know there's no passion there's no passion whatsoever and it's it's uh, peculiar to me like in my case i'm i'm very uh passionate about my alcoholism and, and about my uh you know constant smoking you know i'm very passionate about it i'm enthusiastic about it it's great and as well with my nihilism, it's it's great. I think it is one of the greatest things ever, you know. Uh, but anyway, uh, this text is written in a such a way that is it is accessible to everyone. You know, there's no fluff. There are no accessories. Uh, of course, the, the 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 story itself it is kind of whatever. Uh, the characters are wow, absolutely whatever. Uh, it will not leave an impression on you. It is a decent read. You'll finish it. You can probably finish this book in a day or two. No problem, right? But it will not stick with you. It will not leave an impression on you. And it will certainly not haunt you. The best books out there will haunt, haunt you forever. Even when you are awake, right? So that's pretty much it, you know. I needed a break from Infinite Jest, and this was all right. So, if you want to support your boy, I got a few books on Amazon. 
the link will be down below. Thanks for watching. See ya.